this is Transformer Fan 1212, and you know I'm, I'm done a lot of videos, so I thought I'd do my Transformer collection. Here we go. And as you can see, it's just one wall right now, and it's all organized. As we start here on top, you have all my Armada figures, and below it's my 10th anniversary Beast Wars. Below that is Robots in Disguise and some extra Armada figures I have no room for. And below that is uh, Cybertron. And then all my DVDs and some extra box figures. Next shelf is Cybertron. Or excuse me, not Cybertron, Energon. And then I got my Universe. Basically all the um, Generation 1 type figures. And a few different interesting ones. And below that is actual G1 and some Toys R Us exclusive G1s. And some oddball figures I bought. Some of these I bought from the last BotCon at Pasadena. So then below that is the Happy Meals and some extra figures, you know, some movie and an extra Power Core Dinobot set I had. Below that, unopened Power Core sets. My Rodimus Prime masterpiece. Took me forever to get that. And some, some of the Human Alliance. And as we start over here, animated. Yeah, this is an interesting figure. This I found at TJ Maxx for like under 40 bucks at the Bumblebee Battle Ops Bumblebee in a custom metallic finish, which I've never seen. And it's got two mini cards for it: a gold Bumblebee and a mud flap. So that was kind of a neat find. And down here we got all the. Uh, Animated figures that I've ha ha been able to acquire, and you know some. You know these are all my unopened. You know since I started collecting, I opened them, played with them, and then when the first mo the live action movie No. Seven happened, I stopped. And one thing I realized is it takes a lot more room to store them when they're in their box and unopened. So, uh, as I'm going around, you can go to the bottom here, there's a bag full of toys. These are all Happy Meal toys. And then my, as we go over here, this is where a lot of my other collections is, is right here. All hung on lines, straightening my ceiling. Right now I've got seven lines, and six, five of them are filled, and I'm working on a six. So, as we go along, they're all organized. Here we have Universe. You know, and then we've got the uh, first movie, 07. Revenge of the Fallen. Along here. And then Animated. And after Animated, we have Hunt for the Decepticons. Then Reveal the Shield. And then my favorite line so far is the Generations line. Love it. And a lot of these are duplicates, too. And then the new movie. You know, Dark of the Moon. And over here, i got oddball pieces that'll fit under the door. As you can see here, there's the door. And we go over here, i got all the little cars. You know, some universe exclusives I'm able to get. The uh, keychains. You know, some GoBots from uh, Generation 2. Uh, first movie figures. You know, these are from KB's toy stores when they were still around. And the universe figures. Some Scout Class uh, Dark of the Moon. And some more, you know, Legends Class, Scout Class. And over here I got some skateboards. 
and my one and only Robotech figure that my mother gave me. Yeah, nice figure. And over here, got this whole shelf. This is all mainly Hunt for the Decepticons and Reveal the Shield. And our thing is, as we open up the closet, we have the train set. It doesn't have the track or the power supply, but I got the locomotive and the complete train with extra cars. And over here, we got backpacks, shirts, and up above, this is my other hobby and my model trains I keep in the closet. And then we have my. You know, old Lego sets from uh, Armada, some puzzles, and some more Reveal the Shield figures. These are nice. You know, ever since I, you know, learned that they were at Ross, you know, for ten bucks a piece, you can't beat it. So I got extras. One extra I really love is this one. You know, it looks like it's a Solar Storm grapple, but. It's factory sealed, and if you look at the figure, it is actually a strafe with a Solar Storm gravel packaging. So this was kind of a fun one to find. This one I found at TJ Maxx. You know, ten bucks can't beat it. And this is what the strafe packaging looks like. There's the strafe packaging with the jet. So that was a fun one to find, and I've got about three of each of these, of the four, and I got five of the Solar Storm, which I really love. I think it's a good figure. I just wish they would do an Inferno, which I only have one of from Toys R Us, which is that guy. And here's the open one. Really nice figure, great size, and works with all my uh, deluxe size figures. So... This is about maybe 10 years worth of collecting, you know, once I got a job and started making my own money. But then, before that, I had to rely on family. And if I had the money, I would have got more. But I don't. So, there's the collection, and hope you enjoy this video, and see you later.